It's been called the land that God had forsaken, long considered one of the harshest environments on earth, and for good reason. Summertime, um, we start to hit 100 usually in mid-April, uh, and usually don't uh, continue with that uh, through, through uh, mid-October. In the middle of July, June, July, and August, 120 easily. Oof. Don't miss that. Okay. That's, that's Alan Van Valkenburg knows. He's been a park ranger in Death Valley for over a decade. The hottest I felt was 129. The day I hit 129, I went out and sat in the in the shaded area that was outside just to kind of think about what it felt like. And uh, there was a slight breeze blowing. And I, you know, you'd think a slight breeze would cool you down because it was in the shade. That side of me, it felt, if I thought I was gonna come away it being red burnt. It, it felt that hot on that side. The vast expanses of sand and rock are seemingly devoid of life. In the valley's most hostile spot, the miles and miles of salt flats are completely parched. On average, the valley gets less than two inches of rain each year. Some years, they don't get any at all. In this extreme, desolate landscape life is often hidden. Of course, there are common creatures, bighorn sheep that live up in the mountains, coyotes, snakes, spiders, and other desert denizens. They all have one thing in common, the ability to sniff out water in a place that looks bone dry. There is water. I mean, surrounding the hills and canyons of this park, there are over 500 different small seeps and springs. We are at the largest collection of springs. Ranger Charlie Callahan knows that where there's water, there's life. And in Death Valley, there's more water than meets the eye. It's that ability for both fauna and flora to survive here that Callahan finds so remarkable. There, it's amazing. There's over a thousand different species of plants found in Death Valley. There, there's several uh, dozen of them that are endemics that are found nowhere else in the world. And although most of Death Valley looks exactly as it did thousands of years ago, the seeming desolation can be full of surprises.